Not long ago, I did a full review of the Wuxin Ocean KG Q10G Walkie Talkie GMRS radio. And one of the features that I mentioned that this radio has but did not really demonstrate is the GPS functionality that is built within. I did not really demonstrate the GPS feature because it requires two KG Q10G series radios to demonstrate. So in typical YouTube hobo fashion, I just kind of glazed over that feature and hoped that nobody would notice. And on that day, I learned a very important lesson. And that lesson is that if I have learned anything from being a YouTube superstar, it is that you cannot simply glaze over an amazing feature like GPS built in to a radio. But do not let your heart be troubled because I now have two Wuxin Ocean KGQ10G series radios, thusly allowing me to make this video going more in depth on how the GPS feature works on these radios, which I shall do momentarily. But first, allow me to address the many questions and complaints that I get on a near daily basis regarding the very important subject of how often I blink. And the associated rumors that I'm a robot or one of the lizard people sent down to take over the earth by spreading misinformation to the masses and adding mind control poisons to the food supply. My fellow earthlings, do not be ridiculous. Nothing could be further from the truth, I assure you. Of course I am human, and of course I blink just like all of you other humans. But like any advanced humanoid entity, I simply control your bio waves so that when I blink, you blink at the same time. See? Did you notice it? So I now have two Wuxin KG Q10G radios thanks to buy2wayradios.com. And just as a reminder, the Wuxin Ocean KG Q10G radio costs $220. Affiliate link below. And my friends at buy2wayradios.com did send me both of these KG Q10G GMRS walkie-talkie radios so that I could share them with you my favorite viewer. And as you have probably already inferred from the title of this video and the thumbnail and from my preamble, this radio has a built-in GPS receiver. No need to use some kind of lame GPS dongle or anything like that. GPS is built into this radio. However, before you can make use of the GPS to either determine your location, send your location to another Q10 radio, or view someone else's location, you must first enable the GPS feature and configure it. And that is because, by default, out of the box, the GPS is not enabled on these radios. So to enable GPSing on the Wuxin Ocean, KG Q10G walkie-talkie radio. And by the way, these steps are pretty much the same on both the GMRS version of this radio and the ham version of this radio. There are a few differences between the GMRS version and the ham version, but I'm sure all of those ham radio guys will figure that out by themselves. After all, they passed a test and have a license. The first thing one must do to take advantage of the GPS functionality on these radios is enable the global GPS setting, which is accomplished by going into the long menu list by pressing and holding the green menu button and then selecting option number 44 and then option one, GPS, and setting it to on, thusly. Then set option number two, send frequency. And that is referring to the frequency of how often the GPS data is sent, not the frequency that it is sent on. And select how often you want to send your GPS data. Option number two will send the data every time you send the push to talk button, but you can select longer intervals 
For example, selecting option number seven would make the GPS data send only once every five minutes when pressing the push to talk button. If you want to view other Q10 series radios GPS information, you must also enable that. And you do that in option three, GPS receive, and set that to on. That sets the global GPS options on the radio. And if you are a victim of ADD, or if you did not bother to read the user manual, you might think that is all that you need to do. But my friend, you would be wrong because on this radio, you must specify which channels you want to send or not send your GPS location information on. By default, sending GPS data is off on all channels. And you enable this by going into the short menu list on this radio referred to as the area menu in the user manual, which is accomplished by quick pressing the menu button. Most of the settings in these menu options affect only the specific channel that you are on. So if I want to use the GPS feature only on channel 15, I would select channel 15, then go into the short menus by quickly pressing the menu button. And from there, I will make my way to the send location menu item, which as you can see is currently by default set to off. And I will then enable that setting. And finally, so that the radios receiving your GPS data can tell your radio apart from all the other radios in the area that may also be transmitting GPS data, you must set an ID for your radio. And you must then enable sending of that ID. The ID is simply a five digit number. It does not matter what that number is. However, the number cannot start with a zero. This is done in menu option number 32. After pressing and long holding the menu option button, and you just type in your chosen radio ID, thusly. You must then enable sending the radio ID, which you do in option number 33. By default, the option is off, and there are multiple options you can choose. BOT means your ID will be sent at the beginning of your transmission. EOT means that your ID will be sent at the end of your transmission. And if you are really serious about radios, selecting both will send your radio ID at the beginning of your transmission and at the end of the transmission. The radio ID is simply a DTMF tone, also known as a telephone button noise, and everyone will hear those tones every time you transmit. After making all of these settings changes, which may seem overwhelming to many people, but in reality only takes about 45 seconds, you will now be able to send and receive GPS data on the channel or channels that you have specified. To view the GPS data of your radio or of a radio sending GPS data to you, you simply go to the GPS menu screen, which we get to by long holding the menu button, selecting location, and display map. However, that takes way too long. So all of the cool kids set one of the programmable side buttons to quickly take you to the map every time you press it. This is simply accomplished by going into the long menu options by pressing and holding the menu button and then finding option number 21 and setting it to option eight, location map. Now, when I quick press the side button, the map will show thusly. And finally, we have reached the point in this video at which I can actually demonstrate to you how the radio sends and displays GPS information. And to do that, I drove out to the desert because I can. For those of you that do not know, in the past, I used to make off-road videos. As a matter of fact, my channel is named after my Jeep, the Not a Rubicon. And my Jeep is named the Not a Rubicon because a Rubicon is Jeep's top of the line model and my Jeep is not a Rubicon. It is better. However, because nobody actually watched the off-road videos that I used to make, I decided to stop making them even though I still go off-roading almost every weekend. The Q10 series radios only transmit GPS information to other Q10 series radios. 
It is not compatible with the BTEC Pro GMRS radio or any other brand radios. And it does not work with APRS. As I just mentioned, it works only with other Q10 series radios, including the KG Q10H ham radios. So if you have the ham version of this radio and you are monitoring the GPS frequencies or vice versa, the two radios can exchange location data. And just to be clear, the radio only transmits your location when you are transmitting. Not when you are walking around with the radio, not when it's sitting on the shelf or in the box. The radio only sends location data when you press the push to talk button and only after you have the options enabled and only when the radio is in channel mode and on a channel that you specified may transmit GPS data. The radio does not transmit GPS data when you are in VFO or direct frequency mode. And finally, the radio does not transmit location data to repeaters. And if someone is listening to your conversation with another radio, they cannot hear or even tell that any GPS data is being sent. So after finding an open area in the desert, I handed my friend Dave one of my Wuxin Ocean KG Q10G walkie-talkie radios and told him to go for a walk and then call me over the radio. And as you can see, I was able to view his GPS coordinates along with a small map, which showed his location in relation to me. If there had been more than one radio transmitting, they would also show on this screen. So after acting like radio dorks for a few minutes, just so that I could make this video for you, we put the radios away and continued on our off-roading adventure. <laughs> 